Welcome back, creative friends. In today's Wednesday workshop video, I'm gonna show you how you can use things that you have around the house and mix them into your artwork for some amazing texture. Things like crushed eggshells that you've cleaned, instant coffee, um, some sand that you picked up at the beach, some modeling paste, which is not something that most people typically have around the house, but I'll show you how you can use that, along with some glass beads, which we talked about in last week's video. So bear with me while I adjust the camera, and I'll be right back. Welcome back. Today I'm going to continue to show you how you can use different mediums but how to combine them with some things that you might have around the house, or in this case, some sand that you pick up at the beach on your next visit. I'm lucky enough to live in North Carolina where I get to go to the beach every year. So I told you in the previous little video to clean your eggshells. I happen to have a mortar and pestle to crush them. You don't need one. You can just put on some gloves and crush them in your hands or you don't even need gloves. Or you can just take a spoon and put them on a plate and crush them up because they're eggshells and they crush easily. But I just find this pretty satisfying <laughs> to use a mortar and pestle. It's kind of fun. So you can crush them up to any size that you want. I've seen people who use eggshells in their work and they use them to look like paving stones. So you can leave them big or you can crush them up and make them very small. But any way that you want to use them, there's no right or wrong. That's what I always say about mixed media is that anything goes so I am going to take these eggshells and put them on the canvas and then I am going to take this is a trick that I learned is to put for something that might be sticky like a gel this happens to be Liquitex gloss gel brilliant for something that might that is sticky because gel and medium it can be used as a glue i put a piece of plastic wrap over the top and that makes it easy to take the top off so i'm going to add a little bit of medium here and then i could keep crushing these up into something fine or I could spread them out and have something that is much more textured depending on the look that I want and eggshells kind of stick together so you gotta work a little bit to get them to come apart and get the look that you want but they you have to mix them with something that's sticky. It doesn't have to be gloss gel, it could be matte medium, but something that will make them stick and something that will dry somewhat transparently. So if I wanted to do like an old cobblestone look, I could leave them fairly big. And if I just wanted a rough appearance, I could continue to crush them. I'm grabbing my rag and wipe off my spoon. All right, so that's eggshells. I'm going to put the cover back on my glass gel. Now this one is fun too. You can use instant coffee and this not only creates a textured effect, but it dyes the medium brown. So let's see what that looks like. I'm gonna put some, oh, I shouldn't put the cover on. Put some more medium on the canvas. And just dump some coffee in there. Add a little bit more. And 
I don't recommend using spoons for your work. I usually use palette, plastic palette knives, but I started this video before I grabbed my palette knives and I didn't want to stop it again. So as you can see, it's dyeing the medium this nice soft brown and it's giving this textured look. So if you want this brown sort of pebbled texture look in the work, that's another great option. Okay, the next thing that I wanna show you is, this is not one that you typically have around the house, but if you, are, if you think that you are going to be doing mixed media regularly, modeling paste is a great thing to have. You can do so much with it. It is very heavy. The consistency is much heavier than the gloss gel or a matte medium. And it is, um, just as the name implies, modeling paste. You can actually create um, 3D effects with it. So sometimes what I do is I put the modeling paste in a stencil and then pull the stencil up and I get a 3D effect with the modeling paste. So right now I'm going to show that in another video, but for right now I'm just going to show how it creates stiff peaks. If you wanted, you could do a whole landscape here where this looks like mountain peaks and it will dry that way. So that is another interesting tool. You could also add paint to it and have it be, have it be a different color. So I wanted the not sure why I would do a red mountain peak. Maybe the brilliant sun is setting on it. It with the white it turns kind of pink. And then I can create my stiff peaks. And as I mentioned in a previous video, you can add paint to just about any medium. Off the top of my head, I can't think of one that I would not add paint to. Okay, and lastly, I'm gonna put down some more of this glass gel. And I have my sand from the beach. The nice thing about sand is it never goes bad. I just sprinkle that on there and this gives a really coarse textured effect to the medium. There's some pink in there because I didn't completely get my spoon wiped clean but you could have pink sand because you can dye the medium and you can see how that gives a really interesting coarse effect. Now what I'm going to do is shut the camera off for a moment. I, I love how this pink sand looks. I'm going to shut the camera off for a moment and show you a piece I did where I used all these things and what it looks like when they're dry. I'll be right back. This is a piece that I did several years ago. It's an abstract piece, then I was experimenting with the mediums that I just showed you. The texture is just huge on this piece. This is very rough, everything on it. This up here is where I use the eggshells, and I crushed, you can see that they're different sizes. Some are fine and some are larger, and I mixed paint in with the gel medium. Right here is where I use the coffee and it's got that dark brown look to it and it's rough from some of the coffee beads. In here I use sand. It's a much finer um, texture in some places but I also used a lot of mediums so that I created ridges.
this is where I use the modeling paste. You can see it looks like a mountain. It's the ridges are huge and all of this I mixed with paint. I think except the coffee, I just used more coffee to make it darker. Although there, it looks like there's a little bit of green mixed in here too and some gold. Down here I used glass beads, which I talked about in last week's video. Absolutely love the texture of glass beads. It looks like I must have gone through a whole jar with all the glass beads that are in here, but it gives that shiny, rough effect. And I also added some ridges with the medium. And with all of this, I mixed it with paint. So there's just no limit to what you can do. I hope you enjoyed this video about how to use different mediums and that it helps you on your creative journey. And I will talk to you next week. Bye for now.